Welcome or welcome back on any help at C squared. In this example, we need to find secant and cosecant. The tangent is given as 3 and the cosine is positive. And you notice, they said he used Pythagorean identity. We can use uh, also a right triangle. In this case, we're going to use the Pythagorean identity. So, which of these three do you think we can use since the tangent is given here? Obviously, this one, right? That will allow us to find secants very fast. So, we're going to have 1 plus tangent squared, tangent of theta squared, equal secant squared. So, that means 1 plus 3 squared equal secant squared. 1 plus 9, right? Equal secant squared. So, secant squared equals 10, which is going to give us secant is square root of 10, but don't forget to put a plus and minus. And now let's think about which of the one we're going to use, the positive square root of 10 or negative square root of 10. And let me go back to this guy. Tangent is positive when? Quadrant 1, quadrant 3, right? Cosine is positive when? Quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So, we know as a fact that we are in quadrant 1. That is the only moment when both of them are positive. In quadrant 1, the secant is positive. So, we know now secant of theta is square root of 10. Okay, so how can we find cosecant. We have different ways. You may want to look to this guy, but then let's find cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So that means in our case it's going to be one third. And now we're going to use this Pythagorean identity, cotangent squared plus Plus 1 equals cosecant squared. So we have 1 over 3 squared plus 1 equals cosecant squared. So we have 1 over 9 plus 1. cosecant squared. And that means cosecant squared equals what? 10 over 9. So cosecant will be square root of this guy. And we know by now that everything is positive, so it's going to be square root of 10 over square root of 9, which is 3. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.